Hello guys, what is up? It's Tiger1286 and welcome back to the Night Owl Terraria server. And today I'm all by myself. Uh, the past few episodes have just been sort of me messing around with the guys and just trying to get the hang of the game. And I think that I've gotten a little bit of the hang of it. So now it's time to start really getting down to business, I feel. And I'm also getting a little bit tired of like just using stuff that other people have given me for the most part. So, let me just do like a brief rec recap of the past few episodes in case you haven't watched and uh, the stuff that I've gotten. So, I've got a platinum helmet, which I did get this by myself. Uh, I took this, I found this ancient cobalt breastplate in the um, community center over there and I took it because it looked cool and it was better than what I had. And it increased stuff, I don't know. It, it looked good. I made these tungsten greaves and all of... All of these things I found in the um, in the community center, except for the Hermes boots, and maybe the flippers. I think I found the flippers as well. And uh, so now I've got some cool abilities. Uh, these wall or wild shoe spikes—they allow me to cl like climb up walls. Like you see that, so that's pretty useful. The flippers let me swim. The necklace provides light underwater, and these boots. Uh, let me run a little bit faster after a little bit of time. Let me turn my sounds down a little bit. It feels a bit loud. Let's go with that. That's, that feels a little bit better. A little bit, yeah. Alright, so basically what I want to do today is I don't really want to mine for stuff that I've already gotten. Because I, well, of course you always need platinum and like tungsten and stuff. And I don't have a whole bunch of that stuff. Actually, let's see what we can make with the uh, tungsten real quick. If there's anything that's better than what we got. Five defense. This is five defense as well. I'd rather... It feels like a little bit of a waste to make something that's going to be the same as what we have. But I would rather use something that I've made myself than uh, the community chest. So we're going to go with the tungsten chainmail. And we're going to go put the ancient cobalt breastplate back. Even though it's a little bit better than the tungsten chain mail just because of all the buffs it has but it doesn't really affect us too much because uh we don't use mana yet uh where's the spare tools this chest so we'll throw that in there uh looks like there's some other stuff in here nothing uh really too interesting except for maybe this pick but i don't want to use it unless i've gotten it myself um this sword I got from helping uh, Kami and them take down uh, one of the Eyes of Cthulhu. Which I, I'm not sure how to spawn. I have some lenses, but I don't know where to go to uh, sort of sort them out and like turn them into a Cthulhu eye thing. Uh, this guy, he lets you enchant things, sort of. Kind of. Like give them special properties. Which is pretty cool. Alright, so let's head down into some caves and see if we can find... Let's pull up our map real quick and see if we can find an area that we haven't really explored yet. Most of this area has probably been explored by now by people, but... Uh, this area over here underneath the jungle looks like a pretty um, barren area as far as where I've been. And I don't know if anyone's really explored under there too much as well. So let's head over there and see if we can... Uh, Find some un unfound loot and whatnot. So I'll meet you over there. Alright, so this cave here seems like as good a place to explore as any. So why don't we uh, head down here and see what we can find. Plus there's lots of water in case we fall. What is this? It was just stone block. It looked like it had something on it. Like maybe a jewel of some sort. Can I ride down the waterfall here maybe? Uh, we can probably ride down this one. It looks like this one's been explored a little bit, but maybe once we get down here a bit further, uh, this is some ore for sure. Let's see uh, if it's something worth getting. Oh, I also have this. I made this amethyst hook out of some amethyst I found while caving last episode. Uh, I think we made it on camera, maybe. Here, let's get. Let's close our inventory. That might get us in trouble if we have that open. Ooh, piranha. This sword is actually really good, uh, as far as an early game weapon. 
I'm a little bit worried because I haven't really been caving by myself too much. We'll mine what we can. It's always good to get some resources. Uh huh. Especially um. Especially like iron and well maybe not iron but yeah we'll leave the iron because it's kind of hard to get there. Moon glow, huh? Some of the a lot of this stuff is on. Ooh, that's a chest. I don't know if this has been explored either. Let's head over here and see if we can uh, find some interesting loot. And let's grab this real quick. I don't know what we were taking damage from. Grab a little bit of iron. Oh, I saw something. I don't know. Let me through here. I think that's just some copper. Yeah, we don't need to worry about that. Stupid jungle bats. Get out of here. And, oh man, I can't really see. Let's put a torch. Some coins, very nice. Let's see what we've got in here. Ooh, some potions. A magic mirror. <gasps> oh, that is awesome. That's really good. Here, let's loot all. There. That's like a quick way of taking everything from a chest. And actually, let's take the chest. Why not? It's a gold chest. Okay. Some more moon glow seeds. Not sure what moon glow does. Hey, get out of here. A slime banner. Sweet. And okay, this looks like a drop. But we've got our wall slide ability, so we should be safe. Ooh, some tungsten. I see that. We need to get over there, though. Uh, let's pop a torch and... Like that, and maybe take out some of this stuff. And then... Oops. Sometimes it's hard to maneuver, but that's okay. Alright. <laughs> All right, let's take that mud block out and grapple up to here and grapple there and good. So let's grab some tungsten. And it looks like there's a little bit of iron hiding as well. I'd like to find some platinum. There's some crimptain in there. Oh, what was that? Hornets. Let's get rid of these guys. Oh man, I can't see. Pop me a torch. Ooh, there's a, a barrel. Just with some wooden arrows. I keep getting hurt by stuff and I don't know what. Oh, it's probably traps. Hmm. That's... Yeah. Probably traps. Or maybe some of these plants hurt me. I don't know. I should probably heal. Alright. Looks like a lot of this area has been explored. Ow. I don't know what's hurting me. <gasps> what is that? That thing looks terrifying. Can I take it down? Oh, man. Can I reach it? Come on. Yeah, I got it. Sweet. I don't know what it gave me. Wow, those things are scary looking. Oh, it shoots stuff at me. Okay, let's run. Ooh, what is that? Looks like a trophy. Or a statue. I want it. Get wrecked, Hornet. Yeah, there's a statue. Gargoyle statue. Cool. Some, Some tungsten. Sheesh, some more of these things. What are they called? Man-eaters. I can't see. Heal. Oh, and the the hornets are shooting at me too. Get back here. I can't reach you when you're flying around like that. There we go. Alright. 
can we take out this man eater without him doing too much damage to us? Stupid hornets, man. Gotta keep an eye on my health. Alright, and... Mm, okay, heal. Heal, heal. Oh, I've got a cooldown still. And... Dang it. Dang it. Oh, what is that? That looks... These things look cool. I bet they're good, too. Hmm. Well, I'm not gonna bother going back there. How much coins do I have? Not very many. I had, like, a... I had several gold on me, I'm pretty sure. That's disappointing. Oh, I built this mushroom house, by the way, as... I just wanted to practice building uh, a little bit, so... I built this. It's got some glass skylights here, and, uh... Some mushroom furniture. I'm not sure what I'm going to do with it yet, but it, it, I thought it was kind of cool. Let's see about... Uh, I'm s throwing some stuffs in our chests. Quick stack. Quick stack. We got some other stuff. Oh, we could have used the magic mirror. That's right. Dang it. Let's see. Tools. Oh, we've got a slime banner. Stinger. I guess that's a material. This is like my materials chest. Alright. And seeds and plants. Um, jungle spores. Alright, so that's everything. And I guess we could... I always hit E. And it always sends me launched. There we go. Let's pop another chest down there, I suppose. Don't really need it too much, but whatever. Um, this is like my tools chest, so let's throw our potions in here, and also throw some tungsten ore in there. Alright, not too worried about smelting it up right now. Let's see where we want to plot this gargoyle statue. Uh, we can, uh, there's, this room's kind of barren. Let's throw it in here. There we go, nice. Is that a, yeah, there is a squirrel there. I thought he was a statue, just standing still like that. <laughs> Alright, I'm going to cut real quick, guys, and figure out what to do next. Alright, so I placed my uh, my slime banner up in the house up there, because uh, I, I wanted to. And now I kind of want to make my own little bit of a strip mine, but I'm going to do it not exactly right there. I'm going to start it, I think, m maybe here. The reason I want to get a strip mine going is so that I can get some blocks for building as well as hopefully uh, learn a little bit more about what sort of stuff can be found. Because that's something that I'm really still confused about in this game. I don't know how to, sp how to, uh, where to find or how to make the suspicious eye. I think you need to have six of the lenses, but I don't know how to craft it. it. You need a demon altar, and I don't know if we have one. I know we have one, because there's been suspicious eyes made, but I don't know where it's at, so... That's, uh, that's a little bit of a problem. Let's grab our ropes. I kind of want to use a rope. Do I have my rope on me? No. Where is it? Rope. I thought for sure I had some rope. Maybe not? Huh. Oh yeah, I do. Here it is. Yeah, so we can use the rope after we make our way up there to, uh... And I guess we don't need to worry about it too much because we've got these boots that let us jump up walls. But I'm going to cut here and I'm going to work on digging out a little bit of a, uh, a tunnel straight down. All right, this looks a little interesting, so let's take a look here. I've been digging down for a while. I haven't gone too far, and the water puddles that I've been running into have been slowing me down quite a bit. But this looks like it might be an interesting place if uh, the cave here continues. I'm not sure. The caves on this map that I've come across, they seem to be pretty uh, small, and then they kind of just die out. Oh, uh, I think that this is some of the amethyst stuff. Yeah, it is. Cool. So hopefully, uh, I'm not sure all the stuff you can make with this. Maybe we can check with uh, whatever his face is now. I think is Marty now the uh, guide. We've had we've gone through a lot of guides, 
and I just voice cracked extremely badly. I apologize. <coughs> Some iron here. I I kind of want to get it. Because you never know what you're going to need iron for. What if I die and I lose my tools sometime? I don't think you lose tools, but whatever. What if I accidentally try and talk with T again? I'm gonna need some iron. Uh, there's a, there's a thing that I want to get. A, um, one of the, uh, vases. I want it. A, hey, some coins. Oh, no, another one. Yay, hey, some more coins. I need to get a piggy bank. Do I have a gold? I don't have a gold yet. I wonder if I can make copper coins out of copper. That'd be pretty cool. Alright, so now it's flooded a little bit. But I want to see if it goes down a, lo a little further. Or if it just dead ends. It looks like it might dead end, but if I break this it should flood a little bit. Flood out. Oh, maybe not. Maybe that's all water. Yeah, looks like it's another water, water pool cavern. That's what it's looking like to me. Yeah, especially with the jellyfish. Hey, get out of here. Uh, oh, if I break this open, it's going to flood this out and hopefully drain this a little bit. Yeah. Oh, that was someone's tunnel, it looks like. Oops. Maybe not. Here, let's, let's see what that did. I hate it when there's like these little, uh, there's tunnels, but they aren't tall enough for you to walk through. Looks like there's some ore there of some sort. I think that's platinum, maybe, even. It looks shiny. Platinum is shiny, too. So maybe it's platinum. Is it platinum? It is platinum! Yay! Alright. Let's dig all this out. Ooh, it's a lot. Yeah, lots of platinum. And there's some tungsten down there, too. Sweet. Alright, I'm gonna explore for a little bit and see if I come across anything interesting. Ah! There's a worm thing attacking me. Where is it? Where'd it go? Where'd it go? It's making the flappy noises. Where is it? Oh, I see it down there. It's coming, I assure you. Let's grab this tungsten. Oh, it's getting loud. There it is! Ah! Did I get it? I think I got it. Yeah, I got it. Sweet. Some more platinum here. Let's grab all of it and kill a bat while we're at it. And place torches, too, on accident. Alright, I almost have enough silver to make a, a gold. And once I get a gold, I think I want to head back up and get myself a piggy bank, which is going to... I've been having a really hard time keeping my coins because I, I die a lot. Like, a real lot. I die. Like, you you don't understand how much I die. It's a lot. That's a lot of spiders. That's a lot. Anyways, yeah, I, once I get a gold, then I'm gonna go back up. So I'm gonna stay with you, and we have a gold. Sweet. Thank you. Thank you, Barrel. What is this? Stone. I, I do want to go back up. But I'm also curious what's down here. Now nah, I'm gonna get lost. Let's. Oh wait, I've got a magic. I've got the magic mirror. Let's give this a shot. Is this going to? Oh, that's awesome. That is so cool. Sweet. Okay. Uh, how do we make a? Oh, I think we have to buy the piggy bank. All right. I'm trying to remember who sells it. I think it's the merchant guy, maybe. I think he's, it's not that guy, that's, uh, whole milk. Uh, I think it might be this guy. Oh, I got a falling star. Do you sell me a piggy bank? Yeah, awesome, I got a piggy bank. Sweet. That provides light when worn, that's kind of cool. Uh, I don't need any of this stuff, we're good. Let's, uh, let's leave there. Let's head back to our place and see how much, uh, or turnout we got just from that little bit of caving there and the digging down. I'm not, I'm not nowhere near the uh, the bottom yet. Here, let me pull up my map. So this is our tunnel, and then that's the world, and that's the tunnel to the left of us. 
So we have like a ways to go before we reach hell. And to be honest, I'm not too worried about that because hell is a scary place. I went down there the other day to just see what it was. And there was like demons and stuff and this giant like skull snake. And it was scary as hell. So I was like, mmm, I'm not ready. I'm not ready yet. I just drank a potion. Gosh dang it. Why did I drink a potion? I didn't want to drink a potion. But I did, I did drink a potion. Dang it. Do I? Oh, I've got another bat banner. Lots of bats I've been attacking. Let's, let's pop this guy there. Yeah, bat banner. Any other banners? It doesn't seem like it. Um, let's quick stack all our things. Quick stack. I love this quick stack. Quick stack. Some crimptane. Yeah, I got some crimptane. I was mining that as well whenever I saw it. Are we out of stone space? It looks like we are. Wow. That's kind of shocking, actually. I got some potions from uh, just those, uh, those vases. They sometimes drop potions, I've discovered, which is really useful. Let's plop our piggy bank. Uh, where should we put him? Yeah, you put him on tables like that. And let's stash our single bit of silver and, and copper that we've got in there. Um, wow, we've got zero money. That's crazy. But it's good because it means that we're not going to lose anything if we die. So that's fantastic. But anyways, guys, that's going to do it for today. Sorry if um, the series so far has been a little bit dull. I'm going to try and spice things up a little bit. But I'm like, like I said at the beginning of the series, I'm very new to this game. So if there's anything that you want to see me do, then let me know. Uh, and you can tell me how to do it because I have no clue, to be honest. So I'm probably going to continue to dig my way down here and cave a little bit more and get resources and whatnot. And I'll be back with you next time. And hopefully then we can start taking down bosses and stuff and, and work the storyline that way. I'm not sure if there's really a storyline, but there is a boss progression. So we'll do that next episode. Start working towards it. Maybe we'll take down another Eye of Cthulhu this time by ourselves. But anyways, guys, see you for today. Uh, if you enjoyed, leave a like and a comment, and maybe even subscribe. It helps me out a lot. But for now, see you next time. Bye-bye.